Oh, baby, we're back. Oh, boy, we're back. Today, we're going to be ranking every single Persona 4 golden character on what I think their high school GPA was. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the previous one we did of Persona 5, it was freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But today, we're doing Persona 4 golden. We're just going to hop straight into this. Starting off here, we have... Ooh, you know what? Okay, let's start off with the main character. Let's start off with someone who's semi-easy. I'm saying Yosuke. Yosuke. Yosuke? So Yosuke, Yosuke's pretty dumb, right? Like, generally speaking, everybody's like, oh, Yosuke, you're so dumb. <laughs> I think, I think Yosuke's actually doing pretty well for himself. I'm going to say B tier. I'm not going to front. I think Yosuke is actually doing semi all right. He's not, like, fully applying himself, but I think, you know, with the proper adequate timing, and maybe if he wasn't so distracted with the fact that his one friend died, I think he's kind of killing it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sit him comfortably in the B tier. He's probably getting into most community colleges, if not every community college. If you guys do enjoy the content, though, hit that sub button. Only 50% of you guys are subbed. If you guys hit it, I would love you forever. I mean, I'm just going to tell it how it is. I'm very good at loving people, and I would appreciate and love that very much. So let's go ahead and now back into it, though. We have Igor. Igor, um, once again, I'm going to apply the same logic I did in the Persona 5 one. I'm going to put him in the A tier simply because it's literally like a power saves. I mean, he's omniscient. He is. He's basically a god. I mean, he knows everything everything just plug that bad boy in and naval walk through walls like he is going to be getting a good gpa like there's no doubt about it in my mind next up we have six sided die aka daisuke i don't even know his actual name we called him six sided die in the let's play which by the way check out my persona 4 golden let's play ha 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 shameless plug anyways anyways my man here he's probably you know what i'm gonna say c's I'm going to say C's. I'm not trying to call him dumb because I don't think he's dumb. I just think he's probably a little more preoccupied with sports. I think he puts a lot more emphasis in trying to get that sports scholarship as opposed to a academic scholarship, which I guess is fair. I guess it's fair. I mean, he's clearly talented if he's killing it, if he's the captain of the soccer team, right? Um, he's absolutely killing it. So I think by all means, go for it, my guy, If you know, as long as you're passing. Anyways, though, next up, we have Kanji. I think Kanji... Um... You know what? I'm going to say Kanji is C. Not because he's not smart, but because he just doesn't go to school. Like, like, listen, I don't care how smart you are. If you ain't showing up, you're not going to know the material. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to know what the hell is going to be on the test. So Kanji, he's probably having some gaps in his memory here and there, and he probably isn't doing too well attendance-wise, which also a lot of teachers in high school, they do take off points uh, for lack of attendance. Like, I know, especially in well, college, they do it especially. But in high school, I remember if we um, like if we miss more than three days or whatever, they would take down like your participation grade, your attendance grade, whatever it may be. So he's probably losing points on that front. Plus, he's probably uh, missing a lot of assignments simply because he's not there to turn them in. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say C. I think he's scraping by, but uh, he's definitely not doing too great. I'm going to keep it 100%. Next up, we got Nanako. So obviously Nanako, oh, oh he's so happy to put her there. Obviously Nanako isn't in high school yet, but I'm going to say... I'm going to say Nanako is going to get a 4.0. I think Nanako is going to kill it. I'm not going to lie. Because, dude, she's already so smart at the age that she is. And I think especially uh, considering how much she looks up to her dad, I think she's going to do everything she can to make her father proud. I think she's going to go in. She's going to get a crazy academic scholarship. She's probably going to go to Yale. I think... I think she's going to kill it. I'm not going to front. So I have full faith in Nanako and her studies. Next up here, we have... Ah, uh, Sinister Six. Sinister Six. Ah... Uh, uh, you know what? Okay, she is a nurse. She is a nurse. You know what? I'm actually going to give her a 4. I don't like her as a character. I don't like her as a character. But I am going to give her a 4.0 because I feel like, first of all, to be even in a nurse position, obviously it requires you to be at least somewhat studious. I feel like nursing school is probably no slouch. I mean, I don't know from personal experience, but I would say nursing school probably is not easy. And the fact that she, you know, took the time to dedicate to it and, you know, and actually put in the work to get those, to get those hours, get that degree. I feel like she had to have started those habits in high school. You know what I mean? Like that's not just something you can, you know, suck at in high school and then just go to college and like, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to flip that switch. You know what I mean? So I feel like she probably started early, did well in high school, got those 4.0s, got into a good uh, medical school and then just kept going. So I honestly, I feel like 4.0 is actually very fair to say. Moving on here, we have, let's see. Um, you know what? We'll do Chad. We'll do Chad himself. I feel like you, you is probably a beast. Ah, uh, uh, no, he's scraping by. <laughs> 
<laughs> Scranton bot. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, listen, we don't know a lot about you's character because, like, obviously, he's meant to be a blank slate. You're supposed to kind of, um, you know, impose yourself as him, obviously, because he's the playable character. But I, yeah, I don't think he's doing as well as Joker. Like, Joker definitely seems a little more studious. You is probably, uh, I guess, what well, is kind of weird to rank Yosuke over. Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. I might come back to that one. I might come back to that one. But as of right now, yeah, I don't I don't think he's doing too well. He's probably just barely scraping by. Unless, I mean, then again, in the game, you can increase your studies. In that case, you know, obviously you as a character would be doing better. But I'm going to say C. I'm going to say C. I really think he's probably the kind of guy to get a little distracted. He's probably just focusing on other things outside of school. And also, he's giving me vibes of like you know, against the man type demeanor where he's like, he doesn't really vibe with school and he thinks that school is like for chumps or something. You know, like I could just see that from him. Anyways, the fox, uh, the fox is actually pretty smart, all things considered, but I don't think he's going to high school. Either way, either way, I'll say B. He's probably getting Bs. Right, like if he if he were a human, if he were going to if he were going to high school, I feel like I feel like he'd be doing all right, you know. I mean, let's let's just keep it fair. I think he'd be he'd be doing good. Next up is Band Kid. I think Band Kid's killing it. I'm not gonna lie. I think Band Kid's killing it. I didn't really finish her confidant. I didn't even get close to finishing her confidant, so I don't really know a lot about her character. But she just seems studious. Like I feel like she is actually really trying. Um, in school, I think school is like her main focus. Like she doesn't really have any distractions. Like that is like her cup of joe. She wakes up in the morning, she goes to school, toots on her little horn, and then just hits the books. I think, I feel like that's a fair assumption. I feel like it is. Next up, we got Koi Fish, my man. I love Koi Fish so much. He's probably, listen, I love Koi Fish, but you know what? No, I'm gonna say bees. I'm going to say B. I almost said C. I mean, you guys saw me hovering over the C tier. I'm going to say B's. I feel like he's actually not doing too bad. I think he looks a little... Like, I feel like he, he's more studious than he looks. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's actually trying. He's doing his best. He wants to impress his family. Like, I feel like he's actually really putting an effort, which is putting him in the B tier. Now, I don't think he's, like, you know, 4.0 smart. Like, I don't think he's taking a lot of AP classes. He's definitely not taking honors. But, I mean, you know, he's definitely doing his best. He's definitely getting the 3.0s. He's probably going to get into a good community college. I, I could see it going very well for him. Next up is Rize. I think with Rize, uh, I feel like... Okay, I think I think we're gonna say bees. I think we're gonna say bees. I almost put her with the 4.0s. I'm not gonna lie. And the reason why is because I feel like she's one of those students that has like a low key 4.0. You know what I mean? Like she doesn't flaunt about it. She doesn't talk about it. She doesn't act smart. She doesn't act snobby, whatever it is. But like low key, like she's killing it. She's getting all of her assignments in on time. She's killing it with the tests. You know, like she she's studying in her free time. Like I could see Rize really putting in the work. You know what I mean? Especially now that she's not doing um, her modeling stuff uh, through like a majority of the game. I feel like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I could just see it. I could see her really delegating her time to school and like really succeeding. You know what? I'm convincing myself. I'm going to put her in the 4.0. I, I think she's killing it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think she's really putting in the effort. And I feel like to compare her to Yosuke or put her in the same tier as Yosuke, I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of an insult. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I'm giving Yosuke the benefit of the doubt here, but I feel like giving her Bs would kind of be underselling. Like if anything, she's getting A minuses. You know what I mean? Like she, she is definitely getting A's. I could see it, honestly. Next up, we got Now Tao. Now Tao is getting A's. I mean, come on. Come on, is there really any debate? Like, they're just killing it. They're absolutely killing it. So yeah, I would say A's for sure. Prodigy, of course, same as Akechi. Prodigy, smart, brilliant. Yeah, just fill in the gaps. Next up, we got Dad. I feel like Dad is gonna be a C student. I'm not saying he's dumb. I'm not saying he's dumb, but I think he's also like, he's one of those common cases where it's like, when he was young, his priorities weren't really in line with school. Like obviously now he's a detective, he probably pulled himself back uh, going into college, he probably picked up the pace, you know, and actually started applying himself. But I think, yeah, in high school, he probably was fooling around. He probably wasn't super uh, attentive and he probably was just having a good time. You know what I mean? So I would say, yeah, probably C tier. Next up, we got Yukiko. Yeah, Yukiko's killing it. <laughs> Yukiko's killing it. She's getting A's. I mean, come on. Let's just let's just tell it how it is. Literally in the game, like she's flaunted as being smart. Like she's absolutely there. There's no debate there. She's absolutely killing it. Chie. 
<laughs> Chie's scraping by. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Chie is just she just she just needs a little more time to pick up the material. You know, I think that's really all it is. She just needs a little more, a little more hands-on. She's probably more of like a visual learner, which is where a lot of the teachers probably fault because I'm sure a lot of it is obviously auto auditory uh, or like hands-on with like worksheets or like them, you know, just doing lectures or whatnot. She's probably very visual. She probably needs like movies and videos and like that type of thing, like graphs to really visualize the material. And she just can't really do that, especially because I mean, she has a love for movies. So I can see that being some sort of correlation there. And that's probably a big reason why she's struggling. Next up, we got a Danchi. A Danchi smart. Like, come on. Let's just tell it how it is. It's a little, it's like stated in the game. He was, uh, he was a prodigy. He was smart as hell. And uh, he was definitely getting those 4.0s. He was just hammering down the books and, uh, and doing his best for sure. Next up, we got Teddy. Uh, yeah, no, he's not doing too well. <laughs> he's not. No, I mean, okay, obviously he doesn't even go to high school, but if he did, if he did, I don't see him uh, really doing that well. He struggles with a lot of basic uh, concepts. He also just isn't very focused, you know what I mean? Like, he's very jumpy in a lot of ways. Like, I just, I don't really see him being very attentive. Um, he probably could not, you know, listen to a full lecture and retain information. He probably honestly would end up running off somewhere or just doing something insane or creepy or whatever. Cause you know, Teddy does that. Uh, but yeah, I would say, yeah, he, he's not doing too well. He's not doing too well. Now we got Marie here. I think Marie's probably getting B's. Uh, you know what I mean? Like she's probably, she's doing her best and uh, she's getting solid grades, but I don't think she's, uh, quite as studious as, as these characters. I just, I just don't really see it to be honest. Uh, this guy's failing. <laughs> this guy is absolutely failing. There's no way. There's no way. Like, he is, he is too mentally unhinged to pay attention in math class. I mean, let's just, let's just keep it transparent. Yeah, he is, uh, he's not doing too well. And speaking of people who aren't doing it too well, um... Yeah, what's your name again? Navatame, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, I don't think he did too well. He probably flunked out, honestly. Like, he probably flunked out probably like sophomore year and then decided to pursue trade. And then after he, uh, you know, tried to apply himself to trade, it probably didn't work out. And then his life kind of down, downward spiraled off from there. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like he had a pretty rough start. Like, I think high school was probably like the first time he met some sort of resistance. You know what I mean? And then that kind of led to his ultimate downfall. So I would say, yeah, probably sophomore year, he dropped out. School wasn't for him, um, which makes sense, honestly. I, I think it fits his character. Next up, we have this guy uh, who I don't even remember his name. I think, yeah, he was like the brother of the, of the sister, the girl that died. Uh, I would say A tier, yeah. I would say A tier. I think I think he's he's getting 4.0s. Like he just looks snobby. You know what I mean? Like he gives off the demeanor that it's like like I'm smarter than you and I know it. You know what I mean? He's the kind of guy to always correct you on crap. Um, like every single time you say one thing wrong, he's intervening with some sort of explanation, like 10 page thesis as to why you're incorrect. Like I, I just, I'm just getting those vibes. I got to keep it real. Next up we have uh bitch here. Nani? I think, let's see, bitch. Uh, she's probably getting bees. She's probably getting bees. I don't think she's dumb. Like, I feel like, I feel like she's doing pretty well. She's snobby for sure, but she's not like smart. Oh wait, 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 this isn't bitch. Oh wait, no, this is bitch. Oh my God, I got the characters confused. I got the characters confused. She's the girl that died. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting my characters all mixed up. Okay, this girl is what I meant to rank. Yeah, bitch, she, she's B. She's B. I don't think she's, I don't think she's doing too bad. Like, I think she's, she's doing all right. And you know, she's pretty snobby, but I don't think, you know, it's like a smart snobby. Like uh, this guy, I think it's more like a, just like a spoiled snob. You know what I mean? Like, she's not, like, smart, but she's, like, you know, she's doing well enough, and then she has, like, this ego just from, like, I don't know how pretty she is or whatever it may be. So, yeah, I would say, I would say B is probably where she's residing. I feel like that makes sense. And then this girl, we might as well go ahead and rank her. Um, we only got one scene with her, so I, I don't know. I'll say, I'll say B as well. I, I guess I had her placed here before, but yeah, even, like, analyzing her character again, yeah, it's, it makes sense. I don't think, like, I don't think she's, like, a C, st well... Actually, you know what? I'm going to say C. Yeah, I don't think she's doing too well. She probably, honestly, like, she probably has the smarts, but at the same time, uh, she's probably just so frustrated and kind of in her own mind 
that uh, she ends up taking it out and she's so like kind of consumed by her emotions that she doesn't actually get the chance to focus on her studies. I would say, yeah, C tier. Like I'm, I'm saying she could be B tier if she applied herself, but C tier is probably where she ended up. She's probably getting like a 2.0, 2.5, something like that. All right, next up, we got Margaret and, uh, oh, baby, you guys know I love Margaret. You guys know I love Margaret, and that is why I've got to have to place her in the C tier. <laughs> She's just, yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You could make the argument for Maria as well, I guess, that uh, they are, like, omniscient. Like, I did end up, I ended up ranking Slovenzia uh, pretty high in the Persona 5 uh, list, but I think there's a difference. There's a difference in demeanor between Slovenzia and uh, Margaret and Marie here. Like, I feel like Margaret and Marie are much more grounded. And I guess like, you know, with the lore, like, yeah, like Marie probably should uh, be higher up due to technicalities. But like, if we're looking at her character, pre all the events, like I think B is pretty fair. And then with Margaret, I feel like Margaret, uh, honestly, just probably spent too much time partying. I'm going to keep it real. I think Margaret was probably one of those girls that like, like she's still smart. You know what I mean? Like she's definitely smart for sure. Absolutely. And I think once again, I say it all the time, but she applied herself. She probably could have been B or A. She maybe could have taken some honors classes and gotten up there. Maybe some AP classes, gotten a little bit of a boost to her GPA. Uh, but I think she ultimately just had other priorities. I think she was hanging out with friends. I think she was trying to have fun. And uh, this is why I think she resides uh, in the C tier. I feel like that makes the most sense. Next up, we have this kid. I don't even know who this kid is, but he has glasses, so I'm gonna say A. <laughs> this girl, I don't even know this girl. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say D. I don't know. I just feel like she's she's really, she just looked angry, pissed off. She's probably not being studious. Like she's probably distracted by other things. She probably has other things going on. Yeah, I, I don't even know this character, but I'm gonna say D. We got Mr. Moruka. He was probably just scraping by. I'm gonna keep it real. He became a teacher, so maybe he picked things up in college, but yeah, he was definitely just scraping by. I don't, I don't think, I don't think he was fully committed to the school uh, environment, the school atmosphere. Next up, we got Granny. Um, um, you know, in in her heyday, in her heyday, I'd say she's a B student. Like clearly, she has some sort of wisdom. I think, but that also could be due to age. You know, not necessarily high school. I would say. I would say bees though. I mean, I feel like she's she's probably doing she's probably doing pretty well. I don't think she was like you know up with the the freaking Harvard students, but I think she was I think she was killing it for the most part. Uh, this this bitch definitely failed. <laughs> she yeah she was getting actually no you know what yeah no she's <laughs> she was not doing well. She well I don't know I wouldn't say she dropped out. You know what no I'll give her D I'll give her D. She didn't quite drop out. But yeah, she wasn't doing well. She definitely had a couple of rough patches throughout high school. I would say it was one of those things where she was just going through a rough time. Uh, probably something involving her family, if I had to assume. Uh, kind of hindering her grade performance. I would say, yeah, that's it's super unfortunate, but I would say that would probably make the most sense. This girl, I feel like this girl's killing it. Last but not least, we have Hanako, I think is her name. Um, You know what? I think she's doing pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, I think she's getting B's. I think she's killing it, honestly. Like, she's not, I don't think she's like, you know, the A-listers by any means, but I think she's doing pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, looking back over this tier list, yeah, I feel like, I feel like the only change I would maybe make is maybe move Yosuke down. Cause I feel like if we're looking at it, I feel like Marie is probably doing better than Yosuke. Koi Fish is definitely doing better than Yosuke. Um, Granny probably was doing better than Yosuke. But then again, I want to have faith in him, man. I want to have faith. I feel like, you know, I feel like he's maybe like just on like the lower B side. I feel like he's not doing that bad. You know, like he's, he's probably just, he's probably just not fully applying himself. But I, I don't think he's like that dumb. You know what I mean? Especially considering, I mean, he has so many witty responses in the game. I mean, you got to have some sort of, you know, higher intelligence, some sort of, some sort of wit to be able to come up with those incredible one-liners. <laughs> nice. Keep going. Come on, say it again. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, you know, these lists are just for fun. We're just having a good time. Let me know down below uh, what else you want to see from me in regards to content like this. Let me know uh, how you would rank these characters personally. Follow me on Twitter at Astrid Videos, that sub button. And uh, I will catch you guys uh, next time with some more content. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace. Bye.